secondary. Having played in the Premiership last season with St. Augustine. And it is his experience that will be required from 12 yards out. Well, there's a lot going through the mind now. And as I mentioned, James, you just have to keep playing it over in your head. That you walk up to that spot and bang it into the corner that you choose. Big moment for this young man. Phelps got his back turn. Element of surprise, perhaps. As Teron O'Brien to put Arima ahead. He does. It's a good kick. It's very assured as to where he wanted to put this. A little stutter step on the run up, and then he drives straight with. Uh, the inside of the foot and guides it down to the keeper left. Keeper Haynes going to his right. 1 0 to Arima North. Well, it will be Chase Charles to follow up. And well, he somehow does. Doesn't matter how they go in. Once they go in, that's 1 1. Certainly not the best penalty kick you would see here today. Sometimes it doesn't matter. Chase Charles never really got it into the corner, but the pace of the surface certainly beat the eyes. He couldn't get down on time. He's a big kid. And uh, he would have had to be tremendously quick to get down in time. 1-1. One, one. Oh, this man, Stapleton, has led the scoring for Arima so far. Paul, oh, well he does it like one, been kept out. Talk about a touch of gold. Well, I'm not sure why the linesman is raising his flag. Either he's suggesting that it went in, or he's suggesting that uh, Haynes moved early. But I'm not sure what it is. It uh, looks like a retake. I think it's the first one that he, he believes that he moved too early. That's harsh. Or oh, he wasn't on his line, probably. This will give us a better look. He wasn't on his line. He was uh, at least two or so feet ahead of the line. So right call. Well, he has a second bite. Stapleton. This time he delivers. Led the scoring for Arima this season. And given a second bite at the cherry, he puts them ahead 2-1. Well, if you can't do it in the first time, you do it in the second time. And that's a good penalty by Stapleton. Compared to the first, we'll see if he switched this corner. See, definitely confidence shining through. Well, this is the man most have come to see, Lindell Sween. Will he deliver? He does. That's what he does. To all. Yeah, and uh, he has really, really had no chance there. The pace of it, no nonsense approach by Sween. Just uh, ran up to it and laced it with his left foot as hard as he can. And all the way in the corner, Diaz did go for it. And that big right hand stretched out, but not when the ball is uh, placed with that pace. He's been good defensively, this man Gomez. Can he do it on the offensive end? Question answered. One of the players with national experience and, well, it showed. Yeah, solid game. For the 90 minutes, an even better penalty. Just leans away from it and guides it with his right foot. Nathan Kwashi next. Scored some of the best goals of the season. Just needs to score today. <laughs> oh, look at that. Confidence. It's all level, three all. Nothing less than what you would expect from that young man. Nathan Kwashi. Made sure 
that he tucked it away from Diaz. Decided to go a little bit higher than uh, his teammates did before. And Diaz had no chance. Well, it's another defender, Akil Henry. Can he score? Yes, he can. I'll talk about confidence for a man <laughs> at the back. Well, I was a little bit worried about the, the short run-up and whether or not he could generate enough power with that run-up. And boy, oh boy, did he prove me wrong. He was very sure where he wanted to put this and he had a bit of laces in it. Confident young man, good strike, Haynes, no chance. It's a big kick now. Another defender, Desai Lewis. Up against Diaz. Oh, he's done it. They're not going to miss, are they? All level yet again. Yeah, confident kick. Diaz going to his knees. Completely defeated by that one. Didn't necessarily... Wasn't necessarily placed all the way in the corner, but nevertheless, I think the... Body position tricked Diaz. Well, a big moment needs a big player. Can Jamal Ashing be that star for Arima? Well, the best of the lot. Saved it for last. The pressure, no one San Juan secondary. Yeah, the captain making sure on high making sure Haynes goes the other way we've seen some good penalties here this afternoon Kent Guy can he be the guy to keep San Juan alive oh he's done it I tell you what James I tell you what Diaz went late. I think if he had probably punched instead of trying to get his hand behind it. Let's take another look at it here. It's not the most convincing kick. Diaz was rightly, rightly placed. Just couldn't get the right piece of body parts behind it. Well, Darion Marfan will begin the Sudden that part of the penalty. Well, he's as cool as a polar bear. Yeah. That's 6 5. Vantage back with Arima. Cool as you like. Roll it into that uh, corner. Marfan. Not a big run up because he knows what he wants to do. This is a big moment for San Juan North. It's come close on several occasions. Jahashua Ferguson. Oh, somehow, someway, that has managed to cross the goal line. Wow. And, and I tell you what, I'm wow. not sure what Jahashua means, but I tell you what, it means lucky at the moment. He's a, He's a lucky guy. Yeah, he is very, very, very lucky. Because that should have been saved. And I think Diaz believed it was saved. As you have another look at it here, he pushes it. Looks like it hits his knee, Diaz. Gets down there in time and just couldn't keep it out. You just wonder, will that come back to haunt Arima North? Arima. Well, will they ever not score? Stephen Oliveri, defensively solid, offensively sure. That's a solid penalty there by Oliveri. It's a quick hop. Placed it with a lot of power. Haynes again going the wrong way. Now, can Diaz come up with a save? It's uh, coming down to the players that didn't put their hands up to take the penalties. So there's a lot of doubt with these uh, penalty takers that are coming up. Shaheem Dan Clare. 
led the line for San War. They'll need him to do it again. That's a top penalty. I tell you what. <laughs> I was a little bit uh, I was a little bit worried about the run-up, James. As I'm sure we'll see in the, the replay. It's kind of a windy run-up, but once he got it to stride, sort his feet out and placed it. Goalkeeper Diaz sent the wrong way. Couldn't get there. Oh, this is where it gets the nervous time. So again, Arima will be forced to put their hands up. Ability Hazel. Does he have the ability to keep them afloat? Question answered. Yeah, short run up, right down the middle. Haynes beaten. It's getting to. You can feel the tension, James, in and around. I tell you what, can somebody crack? JDL Joseph, he looks confident though. Yeah, he is confident. Hi. And away, San Juan. They fight on. And normally, when the penalty kicks go down to these numbers, you start seeing kicks that are not of the best quality. But uh, this is different here this afternoon. That's a good kick. Goalkeeper Diaz again with no chance. Substitute, Malachi. Norega has one job to keep Arima alive. He's done his job. He's done it well. Again, another penalty that maybe Haynes felt he could have gotten. But he just couldn't get his hands behind the ball it's another substitute James had the last chance of the game to put it away for San Juan didn't take advantage oh, it's not strange they've made a switch and Haynes is taking a kick well not sure about that uh, James because at some point he's going to have to kick if Haynes scores it's Haynes Versus Diaz. <laughs> wow. Any cooler, he'd be a snow cone. <laughs> well, it's not a smoke of confidence. Haynes here. Look at that for a penalty kick. As cool as you like. Now, can he turn into full mode hero? Another substitute, Mark Thomas. One can imagine the weight of expectation. Wow. With nothing. Wow. Well, they had to convince him to come back to school this year to play. And boy, they needed him. It's a good finish. Excellent finish. Haynes given no chance. Well, finally, Matthias Charles would be allowed to step up. The air of expectation here, it's heavy. Well, it was heavier for the goalkeeper. He was beaten. Well, it's almost in slow motion, that one. Diaz went for it. Didn't necessarily look like it had the power to beat him, but eventually it went by him. So, so this here is a huge moment in the game. Well, it's his turn to get a one-up on his opposite number. Diaz! Oh, he's been saved! 
Haynes getting the decisive touch. All eyes on the linesman, though. They're still having discussion, but it's counted. Yeah, and I think this one, he did stay on his line. It was a poor kick by Diaz. He needs to get himself together because he has a kick. He can't redeem himself. He needs to get his focus back. As he came into this one, now this is to win it. It is the captain. Will he lead by example and lead San Juan to the title? Oh, he doesn't! Couldn't find the gap between the 11-yard sticks and Diaz feels a sense of redemption. They'll have to go again. Well, they go back from the start and uh, it's still in sudden death mode. And I tell you, James, what excitement here at the Larry Goom Stadium. Just thought for a second there that Lewis's kick would have uh, trickled into the net and the upright had something else to say to it. He's beaten them once. Can he beat them twice? <laughs> O'Brien versus Haynes. Oh, and O'Brien, he's won that contest. Looked like it uh, went under the reach of Haynes. Chase Charles, he's been here before. Question is. Can he do it again? Certainly quite dark here at the Lowry Gomes Stadium. Well, he saw wow. exactly where his target was. <laughs> I tell you what, we've seen a lot of penalties here this afternoon. I don't think you'll see anything better than that. That's what you call pinpoint to the corner. And I think the question that uh, probably many that's uh, tuned in is asking is, uh, you go back to the same corner that you, you originally went to, and I would suggest yes, you don't change. You saved once, was redeemed, converted. Can he do it again? He does. The battle is intensifying. And again, it will be Sween. Question is, will he change his corner? Well, no, he doesn't. Instant replay, <laughs> perhaps. Just as effective. Yeah. It's a lot of pace generated on this kick. And it's it just swapped by. I just wonder yes. at this point how well the goalkeepers are seeing. Of course, uh, goalkeeper Diaz, he does wear spectacles. So I'm last season wearing the, yeah. the goggles. Just wonder you how well. wonder, yeah. And it's... Uh, it's quite uh, dark here. Of course, uh, on your screens, it doesn't look that way, but the light is fading and fading rapidly here. Tell you what, a cricket match wouldn't be played in this sort of light conditions. Perhaps he can end it all here, Gomez. Longer run up this time. Same result. Uh, 
That's a top, top penalty. Kisses it off the post. Just the way he designed it, Gomez. Now it's back to Nathan Kwashi again. Something from here, even I'm struggling to see now. <laughs> to wonder how well the goalkeepers can see how long this will continue. It's perhaps wearing contact lens at the moment, Diaz. How well can he see? Nathan Kwashi. Keep his team alive. Oh, with some help. Well, this was close from Nathan Kwashi. Just didn't have the power. And really, Diaz should have been keeping that out of the net. Instead, he pushed it into the side and inside of the net. James, that was a chance, really was. Should have saved it. He was there. Who will break their nerve? Well, I've lost count. What number we're at? Zakiel Henry, though. So he hasn't lost count. He's added it. The question is, Brent. How long will this continue with fading light conditions? Yeah, as we take another look at this kick, so confidence exhaled. And the fading light certainly is a, at a disadvantage for the goalkeepers. And you're right, James, if they had to go through another round, where would this go? This is Desai Lewis. His namesake, a World Cup winner. Can he be an East Zone Intercol winner? Wow. Well, he's grateful. We well, can't say that Diaz hasn't had his opportunity. But really, he possibly should have stopped that one. The second kick. Yes, tomorrow Ashing. Again, to restart the cycle. And it continues. Another good penalty there by the captain, Ashen. If he has no chance whatsoever. Ken Guy, though, has an opportunity to give his team a chance. Staying in the competition. Will he be that guy? He won't! Arima North! Our East Zone Integral winners! 